Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new series on this channel. As you can tell from the title of the video, this is a hardcore survival world. This is the first time I've ever done a hardcore world in Minecraft. I have no idea how this is going to go. It probably isn't going to go well, because I don't really survive very long in Minecraft, so it's probably going to be a little bit slower paced than anything else I have ever done before. And just to make things that little bit interesting, I'm running a data pack in this world which removes all the land spawning. So this is purely ocean. There is nothing else in this world other than ocean biomes and ice spikes like this. So yeah, it could be very entertaining. We're going to have a bit of a struggle to get some certain resources early on. However, I have already done a little bit of playing through of this data pack to make sure that everything works perfectly fine. Everything does work fine. And I did die several times while in that world. So things are already not looking very good for this. But I now know the most important things that I need to gather in the first episode. The most important things right now are these shipwrecks. They have all of the resources that I need in order to actually survive early on in this world. Thankfully they've got this door here as well, so we have some sort of infinite air source. What have we got in this one? Some gunpowder, carrots, stew. Okay, we've got a few things. Let's go back down here and we need the wood. This is going to be our only source of wood for a while until we can somehow get some saplings. I don't know how we're going to get saplings. I think you can trade for saplings with one of the villagers. I have no idea. I've traded with villagers loads before, but I have never needed to trade for saplings. First thing we need is a boat. Now, where was that other shipwreck? There it is. Oh, loads of iron. I also don't want to go close to any of these ocean temples. There's a lot of them. We're not going to be short on things like prismarine blocks. The sun is going down on the first day here in Aquatopia. I swear I saw another shipwreck around. But now it's night time, things like drowned are going to spawn. Which brings me to the next problem, the drowned. Every single playthrough I've done on this data pack, on every single world and on every single seed, I have died to one thing. And that one thing is a drowned with a trident. But those drowned with the tridents are so incredibly overpowered that it is way too risky to be going anywhere near these portal, these ruins. We've got a buried treasure map. Those are super useful. Oh, and it's close as well. Ah, oh, I didn't make a shovel. One problem I have found with this data pack is that buried treasure chests will spawn, but it'll be very easy to figure out where it is because there is a single block risen above everything else. Down here, there. It's going to be there. I guarantee that it's going to be under here. There it is. Oh, lots of iron, water breathing potions, an incredibly good resource. I'm going to be making a lot of those water breathing potions during this series, I think. I think I'm just going to spend the next kind of half an hour or so just looking around, trying to find more of these shipwrecks, get as much as we can in terms of resources and materials. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to survive because we've got two more nights before phantoms start spawning. And if we don't have any sort of shelter, that's going to be a problem. While on my travels, I am keeping an eye out for one very useful thing. In the coral reefs, there are some sandbanks, which means there is land, but it is about water level height, which is perfectly fine for what we need in building. <gasps> diamond, our first diamond. This is a big boat. This is a really big boat. Wow. Is this bigger than normal? It is. I want that wood. Give me the wood. The one thing I did learn in one of my playthroughs is, food-wise, dried kelp. That could be really useful for lots of very quick food. And I'll be honest, like I've said, 
I've done a few playthroughs already where I didn't really survive many more, much more than a day or two. I didn't really survive much more than a day or two on any of them. I wasn't really trying to survive, I was more trying to explore and make sure things worked well. But so far, this is, this is by far the best, the best run I've had. I have a lot of confidence right now in this world. We've had a really good start. I'm starting to run out of room. Oh, I can make a chest boat! I had forgotten about the chest boats. Do I have to make it with a chest or can I put a chest in it? I don't know how they work. But I have to figure it out because I am out of room in my inventory now. Yes, I can place that on a piece of kelp. Oh, I just need a boat and then put a chest. Oh, okay. So I do that and then that. And it's chest boat. Boat with a chest. Oh my god. Yes. A boat with a chest. Who knew? Is it going to be under you? Yep. Yes. Loads of diamonds. Loads of fish. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. No. No. Not good. Oh my god. This is stressful. This is really stressful. I'm going to strip this boat for as much as we can. Hopefully there is a door, so I can have an air source. There is no door. Oh, there's a door. There's no references. And now the sun and the moon have gone. I have no idea if I'm going back to somewhere I've just been. Oh, wow, look at that. There's two of them over there. Did I just ignore a chest in that? I think I did. Yep, I did. And it had a diamond. Of course it did. I have now been travelling for about 10 minutes in this direction. I have no idea what my coordinates are. 3,500, 2,100. Is this easier <laughs> than a normal world? I think it's, it's not seeming to be any harder. We've already got diamonds. We're probably at a higher stage than you normally would be in a regular survival world. Okay, all I'm looking for now is a bit of shallower land, a bit of shallower water, so I can build something on it. I'd like to have a little hut, if I can. I don't want to keep heading in this direction, because... What's that? Have I already been here? Oh, I can hear... Yep, there's a trident. Run away, or swim away. Or boat away, or row away. Whichever one you want, just go. This will do. This will do. Okay, we are standing on land and breathing. Well, this is going to be the site of our first home. And maybe our forever home. But first, we need to build a home. And we haven't got many resources, we've got... Basically just wood. And, uh, yeah. I can't be too creative at the moment, because all we need is a shelter. And then we can talk about the next stages of what we've got to do. So, I'm going to build a house. Well, that was definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I definitely underestimated how many blocks I actually had because I definitely didn't have enough to build an entire hut or house like that properly. So we've got an interesting uh, block palette for this one. 
It's basically everything I had. I did go down to get some of the cobblestone uh, underneath here. I kind of just dug down and made a pocket of air. But as for actually building and resources and stuff like that, there is there's not a lot left. <laughs> that is basically all of it gone. It's got no sides, it's got no windows, it's got a roof, which is all we need from the phantoms for now. I didn't even realise that I actually had six diamonds. I, I knew I collected a few, but I didn't realise I had collected that many. So I can go ahead and make our first diamond tool, our diamond pickaxe. We can now get obsidian and we can go to the nether. And the nether is where all of our resources are going to come from. Because we can't get leather from cows, because but there's no cows... We need to get leather from the piglins, and we need to do a lot of trading with them. And that is how we're going to get most of our resources until we've got actual villagers on here. And the way I'm going to do that is I have to make a huge platform somewhere in the ocean for mobs to spawn. I then have to go to that platform, find the zombie villagers, bring them back, cure them, and then we've actually got some villagers to trade with. Now the next thing I need to do is to go down and do some mining. Although I've got plenty of iron, I do need more diamonds and I need to be able to get more stuff and coal, stuff like that, to be able to start building and protecting myself. But the most important thing that I need to find before the end of this episode is a mine shaft. In the mine shaft, there will be cobwebs and spiders, which drop string. The string is the only way we can get wool. And that is the only way I'm going to be able to make a bed to pass the night and hopefully get rid of phantoms. Speaking of which, I didn't have them in the last night while building this. How do phantoms actually spawn? I thought it was three nights that you don't sleep, phantoms are going to spawn. Clearly not because we've not had any. Either way, we've got a full set of iron armor. I don't I, I don't know if enchanted leather is better than iron. Hmm. First pickaxe is broken. Hopefully we didn't need to make any more. We couldn't have made any more. We didn't have any more wood to make some sticks. I'm going to do something dumb. I'm going to dig straight down. Okay, though that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> that really scared me. This is where... Oh, my pick broke. The noise of my pick breaking actually scared the hell out of me. That is a good thing I didn't actually... Oh my god. I dug straight down all the way from there, and it was only just here where I started to think, hmm... I'm getting quite deep. I should probably make a little ledge for me to sit on. If I didn't do that, I would have got just fell straight into a creeper. I should have made a shield. Oh no. I've made mistakes coming down here. Creeper's coming for me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Go away, creeper. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh. oh my god. I have no idea how many hearts I got down to, but it was nowhere near enough from what I would want. Oh, yeah. Ow. It hit me. Ow, it hit me again. Okay, I got it. At least there's some resources down here. Oh boy. Oh, there's another creeper. Go away, creeper. No. 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 Nope, 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 nope. Oh no, there's a deep dark. <gasps> but there's diamonds! It's below. Probably wasn't the smartest idea. <laughs> Just drop down into a random cave. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I'm out of torches. Well... You know what? I really haven't come down here 
with the correct items, with enough resources, anything like that to be honest. So I'm going to take the obsidian and I'm going to go back home. Well, back up on the surface now, and that was fairly easy to get back out of the cave. Thankfully, I just followed the torches and just dug my way back up again, and all was good. And we're back on the surface, still no phantoms. Still no. So, I don't know how phantoms spawn, but I don't think I should need to worry about phantoms for a while then. As far as resources go, that was not the best mining trip of all time. <laughs> that was a diamond, 12 iron and 34 redstone. More importantly, I did get obsidian. And obsidian means that we can go to the nether. And I really hope that our spawn in the nether is good. If it isn't, I don't know what we're gonna do. Because, oh yeah, I, I don't even wanna think about it. <laughs> it's gotta be a good spawn. It has to be. Well, I'm really hoping it's gonna be good. I. Still don't have enough materials to build myself a shield. I should have probably done this first, but... Oh well. Into the portal we go. What's the worst that can happen? This! This is the worst that could happen. This is the worst. Yeah. This is about... Exactly... Yeah. Why did I have to ask the question? Why did I ask the question?